and welcome back to the Wax Lair. My name is April. Today I have a new to me vendor, Sassy Wax Melts, and she is based out of Washington State and she uses 100% soy blended wax. So I went ahead and picked up a small order. It was her bakery sampler. So just go ahead and jump right in. And one thing to note, please stay towards the end of the video where I'm going to go through about three cents of hers that I did warm because I wanted to be able to give you guys a very thorough, honest opinion on her wax. Okay, just go ahead and jump right in. So the first scent is called Cider Apple Donut Birthday Cheesecake, and it has a pour date of September 4th, 2023. So these are very new wax melts, very recently poured. And one thing I noticed about her wax is that it's very beautiful. I love her shapes, and it has a really pretty sheen to it. If you can see that on camera. Um, and another thing is that her wax is pretty hard. So this smells so yummy on cold. You definitely pick up that apple cider donut and the birthday cheesecake. I am actually getting like a sweet cheesecake kind of note that just blends everything together really, really well. It's a beautiful pink color and it smells great already on cold. Okay, next up is Snickerdoodle Toasted Pistachio, also poured on September 4th. Again, a beautiful flower shape with some pretty sheen design to it. So with this, I'm picking up that toasted pistachio and the pistachio is really toasted. I'm not getting any like, um, cherry almond vibe at all with this like you do with some pistachio scents this is straight up the pistachio nut like you just pop some in your mouth mm, and mixed in with that spicy snickerdoodle really really good um i like this pistachio oil and i have been on a pistachio kick lately so i am excited to warm that on. next up a beautiful blue colored wax and this is blueberries, shortbread cookies, and also poured on September 4th. And her labels are really simple and cute. I really like that. And just a beautiful blue color, kind of two-toned. So with this, I am definitely getting the blueberries in the forefront. The shortbread cookies, they're there. They're kind of just blending everything together, giving a little bit of sweetness, a little bakery really good. So, um, I love blueberry scents. I would say this is definitely like a, a bakery blueberry, almost like a cooked blueberry scent. Next up, this gorgeous green colored wax. This is lemon blueberry crumble cream cheese frosting, and it was poured September 4th. I just adore that color. You guys so pretty. Okay, so this one, I'm getting that lemon in the forefront. Blueberry crumble, I am getting a blueberry note. Cream cheese frosting, yes. It's just kind of blending everything together really, really nicely. I like this a lot, oh, really good. Um, I like the combination of blueberries and lemons. I just think that's just so yummy. That one. Okay, next up is orange caramel cake brown sugar pound cake, and it was poured September 4th. And really pretty kind of peachy colored wax with some shiny sheen to it in the back. Okay, so I'm getting that orange cake. Mm. Um, caramel, I'm not sure if I'm really picking up caramel. Brown sugar, yes, because there's that extra sugary sweetness really good. Um, I love orange pound cake scent, so I cannot wait to warm that one. Okay, next up is lemon pound cake vanilla cupcake, also poured September 4th. And this is just a really pretty bright yellow sunny colored wax. And yes, lemon pound cake, hello. Vanilla cupcake, I think that's kind of adding some extra creamy and sweetness to it. Mmm, her lemon pound cake oil is super yummy. 
Um, and one thing I want to say also is like on cold, everything smells at least a medium to my nose. Um, smells really, really nice on cold. Alrighty, this one is Bear Claws Marshmallow Fluff, also from September 4th. That is some really pretty coloring there. Mm. I'm getting the Bear Claws and I love it. And the Marshmallow Fluff, just some extra sweetness, extra creaminess. Mmm, yummy. I like that. Um, I like Bear Claw scents. It's like, ah, I just wanna eat it. <laughs> All right, next up is Sugar Cookied Dough, Strawberry Pound Cake, poured September 4th, and Hello, Strawberry Pound Cake. One of my favorite scents. Ooh, look at that, you guys, that is so pretty. So I'm getting that strawberry pound cake and it's the kind I like. Mm. Sugared cookie dough. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of see that because there's something besides just that strawberry pound cake, something else that's really sweet and yummy and delicious. That's really good. I like that one a lot. And next up is red velvet cupcake batter. Red Velvet Cupcake Cake Batter. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Also poured September 4th. Nice reddish colored wax. So this one's a little bit lighter on cold. Uh, I am picking up like a cupcake note, but not super strong. So We'll see how this one does um, after it sits a while. Again, you guys, these are poured <laughs> like a couple weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago. So super new pours. All right, next up is Blackberry Cobbler, fresh baked bread and vanilla custard. Also poured September 4th. And I love this color purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors and look at how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. So, I'm first picking up that fresh baked bread. And if you know me, you know I am here for fresh baked bread. I love that scent. And I am getting that like blueberry or blackberry cobbler. Vanilla custard, I think there's a little bit of added sweetness and creaminess, but mostly that fresh baked bread with that blackberry. And it's really good. Um, I cannot wait to warm that one. Give me all the fresh <laughs> baked bread scents, please. All right, next up is glazed donuts and vanilla smoothie. Also poured September 4th. What a pretty burnt red colored wax. Oh, okay. I'm getting the glazed donuts and it's a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, and then that um, baked dough. Yeah, and then like vanilla smoothie. There's some creaminess. So I think that's from the vanilla smoothie. Really good. Um, I like her spice to sweet ratio. It's just perfect. It's not like overly cinnamon, overly spicy. It's just really, really nice. All right, and next up is pretzel banana crepes. Wow, banana crepes, that, you don't hear that in oils very often. Pumpkin and coconut cream, also poured September 4th. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. This scent is magic. So I'm getting the banana crepes and I love it. Uh, pumpkin coconut cream. Not really getting a lot of coconut cream. Maybe a little, pump, a little bit of pumpkin, but not a lot. And pretzel. Maybe some pretzel, but mostly I'm getting that banana crepes and I am here for it. Oh my gosh, that is yummy. I love banana scents and that's a really good one. Okay, next up, vanilla sugar waffle cone and vanilla ice cream poured September 4th. Beautiful yellow colored wax. Mmm, mmm. Okay, I get the vanilla waffle cone, but I'm also getting the ice cream out of this, you guys. Yeah, sometimes vanilla ice cream scents are really, really soft where they kind of tone down things, but I'm getting the, the waffle cone first and foremost, and then I'm getting that vanilla ice cream also. So 
So that's really good. I like that a lot. And next is Frosted Sugar Cookies Vanilla Frosting for September 4th. Kind of a theme here, September 4th. <laughs> really pretty kind of mint greenish blue colored wax. Okay, so this one, this one's lighter to me. I am getting like a sugar cookie and I think the vanilla frosting might be taming it down a little bit, but we'll see how it does once I let it cure for a while and warm it. And then I picked up, I think this might be called like her brittles or breakaways, I'm not sure, but this is toasted lemon blueberry, lemon blueberry crumble, toasted coconut, and a hint of fireside. And this one was poured on August 26th. So it's a little bit older. Hmm. I'm gonna pull out one of these little shapes. Really, her wax aesthetic is gorgeous, you guys. It's beautiful. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm getting that lemon blueberry crumble, which I really, really like. Um, I don't know if I'm really getting any toasted coconut. A hint of fireside. If it's there, it really is just a hint. But this is a nice, uh, nice um, like blueberry lemon bakery scent. So we'll see how this one does when I let it cure for a while, but it's nice. Okay, now for the samples. And like I said, I did go ahead and warm three already, but you guys, she sent so many samples. And thank you so much, that was so nice. She also sent like a bag full of candy and um, I've already eaten that. <laughs> so good um, all right uh, this one is called class act and it's bourbon butterscotch fresh baked bread and brown sugar and fig poured on August 18th mm, and that's a really cute little pumpkin shape okay so for this one I think I'm mostly getting that brown sugar fig. Fresh baked bread, there's a hint of it. It's not really strong. Bourbon butterscotch, mm, I don't know if I'm really smelling that, but I'm getting that brown sugar fig and I do like brown sugar fig. So I'm gonna let this one cure and see how it does. You know, I really don't find a lot of brown sugar fig since being poured. So if that one does well, I'll be really excited. Okay, this one is called Triple Berry, Sun Drenched Vineyard, Cranberry, and Mediterranean Fig. Ooh, Mediterranean Fig. I love fig scents. A little spider shape. Woo, okay. Wow. This is a very vibrant, very fruity, juicy kind of a scent. Um everything's blended together really well. So I can't pick anything out, um, but I would say yes, absolutely. I could see like how there's fig, there's cranberry, just lots of berries, probably like raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, really good. This one smells strong, strong. So can't wait to warm that one. Okay, this one is Campfire Crisp Fallen Leaves, Toasted Marshmallow and Wood Smoke. This one was poured on August 15th. And I'm typically not a fan of these kinds of scents, but you guys look at really cute shapes. Ooh, this is strong. Okay, um, I'm getting that campfire note and I'm actually here for it. Wood smoke, yes. So it's not like that gross charred wood, it's like you're at a campfire and you just, it's kind of been going for a little while, so it's not like too smoky yet, but really nice. Definitely that campfire vibe. Crisp fallen leaves, toasted marshmallow. I think the toasted marshmallow is adding a little bit of sweetness, which really like helps balance out that wood note. Mmm, that's good. Um, I'm gonna be excited to warm this one, I think. Um, I like that extra bit of that toasted marshmallow. I think that's really adding something special to that scent. And this one is I Love Fall. Be thankful. Apple butter caramel. 
Butter Brickle, and this was poured on September 1st. I wasn't sure if one of those was like a, a scent note or the name of the blend. But here's a little spider shape. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is like definitely fall vibes, 100%. I'm picking up a lot of that apple, a lot of that caramel, butter brickle, yes. Oh, it's super yummy. Okay, this smells really good. Um, this scent is the kind of fall scent that I love because it's got that bakery element. Super yummy. Okay, and now for these, which um, are the scents that I've already warmed. This one was Cinnamon Pumpkin Brulee, Cinnamon Buns Fireside Toasted Marshmallow Pumpkin Brulee, and this one was poured on August 16th. So the scent is lovely on cold. It smells really good. Um, you're definitely getting just like that marshmallow fireside and a bit of the pumpkin, lots of sweetness. So how did it do? So I warmed this one in my master bedroom and I put it in my 24 watt Julie Ann warmer. Um, this was kind of light for me, but again, you know, you guys, it's only one month old, or actually not even quite a month old, so it might need a cure. I was a little concerned because the wax, it's like a harder consistency texture, um, but it did melt fine in the warmer. Um, I'm almost wondering if maybe these would do better with tea lights. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I've ever really warmed 100% soy wax before. I think most things have been like a para-soy blend. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you use to warm your uh, soy wax melts with. It was beautiful, but again, super light. I really had a, I was struggling to, to smell it. It wasn't filling the room. So maybe it just needs more cure time. I don't know. Okay, this one is Lemon Blueberry Crumble Sugar Chestnuts Marshmallow Fireside, and this one was poured on August 18th. And this one actually warmed in the warmer back there. Um, it's a 40 watt um, bulb warmer, which gets really, really hot. And again, I was kind of struggling with the scent throw. It just wasn't really throwing in in here in the office and it's not a very big space. Um, again, you know, it's just barely a month old, so maybe it needs no more cure time. Um, I don't know if it would need more heat because I feel like 40 watt bulb is pretty warm, but I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below again what you use to melt like 100% harder soy wax melts with. And this one is caramel pecan pie, caramelized pralines, pie crust, and creme brulee poured August 16th and I did this one in my master bedroom again in my 24 watt hot plate Julie and warmers and this one I don't like it as much on cold and again it wasn't like a banger or anything um, I would have to get kind of up close to the warmer to smell it so again I'm not sure if it's just not enough cure time it may be soy wax melts need more cure time. I'm not sure. Um, maybe it needs a hotter um, way of melting, maybe a tea light. I don't know. So please let me know. Um, overall, I would say her wax melts are gorgeous. They're beautiful. They smell really, really nice on cold. Um, I am having performance issues though. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, it's like I'm not keen on having it tea light wax melt. So this might be a vendor that I kind of skip in the future. Her wax is also a bit on the pricier side at like $2 an ounce. So, you know, if it, if it's not performing for me, I'm just, I can't justify that. So let me know in the comments below if you have tried this vendor, Sassy Wax Melts, what you use to warm her wax with and what kind of performance do you get? Thank you so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye.